Hello, everybody. I'm uh, I'm back after a, after a very long time. I'm not really back, but I am I am today. I don't even know if you guys have seen my new computer. Um, but anyway, onto the video. So today we're looking at the latest version of Remcross, which if I go to the About section and take a quick look at the change log, we'll have a uh, quick look to see what's going on here. So. We have a new function in the browser, History Viewer, uh, and support for the Vivaldi browser, and all the other seems to be fixes, which I don't mind. Oh, and the GUI tweaks, which I can shove. Okay. So here is, now I, I've had a problem with uh, VMware, so I'm, um, so I'm just running this on my computer. So if we go to I've already thought, oh, no, the, uh, the thing. I haven't actually looked for it yet. So I don't actually know where it is at all. Uh, oh, it's right there. Browser history, right. Got all of blurring out today. Right, here we go. Wow, that's cool, isn't it? That is very cool. Look at that. I wonder what the info says. Should we read it? It supports all the browsers and it's developed by Nursoft, which sounds very familiar. Uh, hold on, guys. I'll, I'll be back in a second. I've got the uh, hotkeys for Camtasia, so. Ah, so as I uh, semi-remembered, Nursoft is um, all, the, all these little things like uh, password tools here. That's pretty cool, actually. So yeah, lots of different password recovery tools. Uh, where that's password tools. Let's see. Browsing history. Let's, should we take a really quick look at this and see what's going on here? Looks like the right thing, nicely implemented. Pretty cool though. Pretty useful. Nice thing to uh, shout it out. So you can see the profiles. It go okay, I haven't clicked my history for a long time. That will be a lot of uh, blurring out to do, as I mentioned earlier. That's pretty cool though. What well, other stuff? No, that's, that's not going off topic. So, GY tweaks. Uh, I believe that the local utilities here are new. This this thing at the bottom with this nice little line. Uh, I don't know if they've been renamed. I honestly can't remember. Uh, but everything seems to be as it was before. And now I believe the chat function is fixed. Uh, perhaps it doesn't like me doing it on my machine. Hi. Oh, no, here we go. Now, can I... Oh, I always like being able to not close it. That should be an option. I still feel that should be an option. How rude. I mean, you can just keep opening it, but then... Okay, well, I guess you can keep opening it. But, but still, it's a bit annoying. Anyway, uh, anything that's new that I can remember. Uh, I remember last time the chat being broken, but that was fixed a long time ago. DLL loader. Okay. Wait, well, is there something interesting? Then? All without, without nothing. How annoying. Uh, right, I'm going to manage that's all the same. Okay. Let's go in the control center because this is, this is uh, rather nice looking. So, by default, it will look like this. We'll be able to see the RAM and CPU usage. It will grab us all this information. It'll actually give you a massive amount of information from your computer. Um, and I disabled this stuff just so I didn't have to uh, be so clean up everything. Um, for some reason, it can't collect. Oh, because there's no geo, because I'm all local. Uh, 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 LAN. Uh, right, oh yeah, so it's got my uh, graphics card. It seems to. Oh, a Viper. Oh, knowing. Oh, it's from Tong Fang. Anyway. Uh, right, do I, oh, I don't remember having my computer on for 117 hours, but okay. Apparently, I did. And then we can look at the full system info, which I think opens the, um... okay, it must have retrieved it then. Okay. Must do it automatically or something. And then something that's very nice is we can open the control center and then do anything we want from here. So we could, um, let's open a web page, um, google.com. We can just control this computer straight from here. Uh, we can change the wallpaper. That's really cool. I, I like that feature. So we can choose the wallpaper. I believe we can 
full slit. Yeah, I think I covered that in a previous update. And I don't think there are any new fun functions or anything like that. So uh, yeah, everything <laughs> everything seems to be rather nice. Now let's see. Oh yeah, and oh, I forgot one thing. One very nice thing. If we go to local settings, now I can't remember if, if this was here before, but there's a very nice blacklist, IP blacklist feature. So let's say you upload your file to send to somebody and um, and actually there's two new things. Uh, two things I've gone. So this thing, uh, what was I going to say? So you upload it to a, a file host and they distribute it, or well, it's a honeypot or whatever, and you don't want people messing around, you know, looking at the stuff. You can just blacklist their IP address um, with a reason, all this kind of stuff. And that, I think that's very cool. So I think the info is just. Um, I actually read this, so let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, that'll make sense. Blacklist does block, oh, does block new connections, okay. It does not already affect established connections. Okay. So it won't blacklist once it's there. You've got to blacklist it and then, okay. Okay. That, that's as okay, that's, that's, that's as I expected. And finally, if we go to the agent builder and go to build, and unfortunately we don't have the uh, stub with relocations anymore, which is a little bit of a of a shame, because uh, I think that would be quite useful. But now we've got Light and Pro. So as I said here, Pro is the uh, standard um, stub, and then uh, Light is, um, it removes surveillance installation, watchdog injection functions, um, and it's smaller size, and it's ideal for remote support sessions. So if we take a quick look at my um, thing here, that's 124 kilobytes. Now if we go to the light and build a new one, it's only 84 kilobytes, that's pretty cool. And very nicely the, uh, uh, the icon has been changed from a present strip parcel to a monitor which I prefer because it looks a bit less strange and out of place. So that's all the new things for Remcos, I believe. Um, I'll check the change log one more time. But I'm, I'm almost certain that's everything. Install and see how well it installs. I'm very sure. Excellent. Brilliant. And is it still in the Remcos folder? No, actually, it removed it. Nice. Okay, guys, well, I think that's it for this video. It's a short one. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And stay tuned for updates. Uh, Sorry for not posting for a very long time. But I do have a solution to my issue. Um, so you may see more videos from me in the future. So have a very nice day, guys. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.